Hey folks, this is Imran from AllAboutAndroids.com and today we bring you an unboxing of the T-Mobile variant of the Samsung Galaxy S3. Since I'm in Canada, of course, we do not have um, T-Mobile. We have WinMobile that uses the same network and that's the one that I got. Uh, the model to be exact is the SGH T999V and let's get going and begin the unboxing. First up, we see the device. I've already removed the plastic since it is my new device. I wanted to try it out for at least a day or two. And we'll get back to this in a second. So opening up the box, we have nothing here, just a cardboard um, partition. And once we open it up here, we have the normal paperwork. So you get your warranty card, some quick start guides, which we do not need. Don't need to waste time with that. Our USB cable. Okay, just open it here. There we go, USB cable. And next up we have earbuds which I think is a decent addition. Earphones, and I believe it should be coming with a mic. Let's take a look here. Okay, I've opened this, and it seems like a mic with a volume control, which is pretty decent, actually. But I use headphones, so most likely I will not be using these. And we have the adapter right here for USB. Samsung branded, of course. And let me just move this all to the side and get to the device. Okay. Here. This. All right. So the device is a 4.8 uh, inch um, Super AMOLED HD display. So it's a full 720p. Uh, display which is great um, just a quick look around on the right side we have the traditional Samsung power button at the back we have a flash an 8 megapixel camera with full 1080p video recording and a speakerphone as you can see it just says Samsung not the Galaxy S3 at the bottom and even on the front there's no Galaxy S3 it just says Samsung on the left hand side we have our volume toggles at the bottom we have a micro USB and a mic on the top we have a 3.5 millimeter uh, traditional headphone jack and we have another mic which helps in the noise cancelling on the front we have one physical home button and we have two capacitive one for menu one for back so let me just show you guys the actual um, device inside right here pretty easy to pop off lid we have a 21 50 I believe milliamp hour battery with a micro SD slot right here and a micro sim slot over here Okay, and it does come with NFC as well as you can see their near field communication. Let me just move this to the side as well And let's pop it back on and take a look at it All right, so the device up front um, it comes with TouchWiz UI. This is the redesigned TouchWiz and um, I have to say that I'm not a big fan of it and even this redesign I have to say it's, it, it's a big improvement but still I'm not a big fan of the TouchWiz custom UI so I have played around with some wallpapers here um, I've changed the lock screen wallpaper and um, of course the back wallpaper as well and I've downloaded one or two apps just to see how it was on this gorgeous display so holding on the home screen you'll be able to um, add home screens you'll be able to customize the wallpaper one for the lock screen one for the home screen okay and what's what I really like is the motion features that the Galaxy S3 has and I'll be showing that to you in a second um, we have the Samsung apps also that come with um, I'm not a big fan as well of these uh, I don't think I'll ever use any of these but it is there since it is just a stock based um, Samsung ROM that I'm running right now it's just out of the box nothing has been changed it has S voice which is the Siri like kind of um, voice assistant but again with Google Now's release in Jelly Bean this thing would be most likely obsolete there is Smart Stay which is one of the nicest things that this device brings and you just have to enable that I believe somewhere in the settings not too sure where I did enable that uh, right here is just the motion which I'll be showing you in a second under display there we go we have by default it's disabled but simply enable it if you want to try it out and I have to say it does work wonderfully okay so let's just show you the motion stuff that I was talking about just say I want to add an app I can tilt the phone and it will scroll through my home screens instead of me having to physically go at the end and wait and wait I can just do it really fast and drop it where I want so I'm just gonna drop that there 
Next up, just say if I have a picture, I want to take a look. So take a look here. These are some geese at my work. You move the phone up and down and it will zoom in, which I found is pretty cool. Okay. Um, same as usual, you would hold on the home button to get your task manager, but you do get an removal all option, which is a decent addition. And also one thing that I really liked about TouchWiz is how you can just swipe through your apps and it, of course, it loops. You'll have to tap on widgets and then you can swipe through your widgets. Now, if you have so many widgets, you can do a fast, um, a fast scroll. Once going on the bottom bars, you can just scroll through all the pages, which is nice. And I think AOS should have such an option. If you have so many widgets, you don't want to waste your time. This fast um, scrolling does help. You can also pinch to zoom and you can view the complete um, highlights of what widgets you have. I will show you guys um, some routing tutorials as well as how to flash custom ROMs. Uh, first, I'm just going to try out stock for a while, see how it is and then we'll get back to you on how to get root, how to flash Clockworks mod recovery, and of course, to cover all the ROMs that will be released for this device. This was Imran from allaboutandroids.com. I hope you liked this small video that we made. Um, please do like our Facebook page, our Google Plus account, and our Twitter. And please subscribe as well, it helps us out, and um, comment as well, will definitely help you out if you have any questions.